Nubis. Did you like your hike the other day? Did you like your hike? Yes, it was a six mile hike all in the woods and you got to like sniff everything. And then you came back and you snuggled with mom. What did you give mom? What did you give mom? I got a nasty case of poison ivy. Yes. Because the dogs get it on their hair and you pet them and you love them and you get on hands and then you transfer it onto your body. And I am extremely susceptible to poison ivy, so I have been itching for the past several days. You all is mad about not <laughs> being a part of the conversation. Are you mad that you're not part of the conversation, Nuala? Oh, now you want, now you want some love. All right. In fact, my itching is so bad that I've been taking an antihistamine just so that I can sleep at night. So hopefully in a few more days it'll go away and I won't be so itchy. But thanks a lot, Nubis. Yeah, Nubis, thanks. <laughs>
to 11.30.04. I loved her. Sounds really sad. I have a fun question for you. Okay. So my fun question. Oh, it's a fun question. So we're on the schoolhouse trail. What was your favorite schoolhouse rock song? Um, what was the uh, Constitution? Oh, um, I'm just a Bill. Oh, I'm just a Bill. No, well, that was a good one. I'm just a Bill. Yeah, I'm only a Bill, yeah, and I'm yeah. sitting here on Capitol Hill. Well. I don't know. That's that not fun. as good. I mean, it's, it was fun, but I don't know. I don't even remember the rest of it. Minus conjunction junction. Oh, what's your conjunction, function? Conjunction junction. What's your function? <laughs> Either that or lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Oh my God. I love that one too. <laughs> There's so many good songs. They were right with the cartoons on Saturdays. Yeah. 75 plus year old holly tree. Quite yeah, it does look pretty good. Oh, puppies. You got bit up by flies. Look at you. Poor dogs. How old is this holly tree? It's 275 plus years old. Wow. What's cool about it is the trunk seems to just keep growing, but the limbs fall off. They start growing back up again, they fall off. And the whole time the trunk is just getting bigger and bigger. Nuala. Hey, Nubis, Mocha. Now let's show how hollow this entire tree is. This is what it looks like inside. All the way up, crazy. Top is completely gone. How far can you go? Oh, you're gonna make a run for it. Yeah, that, that would be brilliant. No, Mocha, it's not your turn. Easy. Oh. Ubis, come here. Ubis, come. Ubis, come. Ugh. Oh, my poor baby. Ugh. <laughs> nice way to end the. Uh, Walk right yeah. here. This looks gorgeous. This is very pretty. Even nicer than yesterday. And that was a nice hollow also. What's a hollow? This is a hollow. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that hollow. That's beautiful. It is. Wow, this is just gorgeous. All these trees overhanging. Yes, it is. Easy. Ouch. What was ouch? My head. Oh, ouch. Your hat didn't protect your head? We used to call these brain trees. Ah, oh, that's an Assange orange. Is it? Yes. Okay, then these are all Assange uh, um, yeah. trees. That's what they look like. These are okay, Assange oranges. Okay, we just oranges. used to call those brain trees. Uh, in, no. In they, the, they're tons and tons of little seed pockets. Yeah, yeah. When you open them up, that's, they look like them. Yeah. yeah. It has... So all, these, all these are Assange trees. Really. Yes. I couldn't see any of the pods. Biting flies. Oh, poison ivy and biting flies. Oh my. We anchored here in Dividing Creek, and if the winds come from the expected direction, we should find good protection from the trees on both sides. So now we wait for the storm to come. When it comes, we hear trees bending and breaking and hear winds at 45 to 50 mile per hour with gusts up to 60 mile per hour. 
The trees dampen the effect, and we notice a large difference between the protected creek where we're staying and the larger body of water behind us where we see building waves and stronger winds. So we spent four days, three nights at Y Island, and we rode out part of a tropical storm we did. in Dividing Creek. What did you think of the tropical storm? Uh, I was a little intimidated by it because it was stretching our skill set. Yes. But uh, I think we prepared pretty well. Yes. We sat down and knew what we would do if we started dragging or having some other issues. And the weather apps, uh, the wind apps, were very, very uh, good at letting us know the directions that the high winds were coming from, so we set ourselves up perfectly. Yes, and our anchor held perfectly. That was our number one concern, was the anchor holding. Yes. We had um, came in and we tried another spot in Dividing Creek. We tried two different spots and neither one of those held and we finally found a spot that we didn't think was quite as good, but it held perfectly. So yes. I think that was probably the most important thing was getting our anchor to hold. You know what also helped? Mm -hmm. The third time, we didn't like back down on it like super gigantic hard <laughs> like know. we did the other two. So <laughs> maybe it held only because we were more reasonable with our test. Yes, yes. So we weren't revving the engine quite as high. Yeah. <laughs> we revved the engines very high on the first one trying to get us uh, uh, locked in, but I'm not sure that we would have been in a boat at that wind, wind speed. <laughs> so what did you like about White Island? I know you want to go back. So. Yeah, I, I loved White Island only because it's tucked away. It's a very large island with only one real entrance. There was 50, 100 places where you could easily just anchor and enjoy yes. it, anywhere around there. We were one of only really two boats there. We, we saw maybe of all the time we were there, we saw four vessels in total. We saw some people fishing the first day when we went over. Right. But when we went on, uh, when hiking that, that second day, there wasn't anybody that we saw on all of those trails. So it was really quiet. So I'm gonna continue my question. I had asked you while we were walking in Wild Island, what is your favorite schoolhouse rock song? Do you remember? Uh, you did ask, and um, we went through them all. And what was the one that I said I liked on that? <laughs> oh, that's right. It was the preamble. <laughs> and how does that go? We the people, in order to form a more perfect union. <laughs> one of the reasons why we had to have a conversation about it is I don't remember very much of any of them because I wasn't like a child prodigy of Schoolhouse Rock like my wife was. <laughs> so, so. so as a follow-up to what was your favorite Schoolhouse Rock song since they were played between cartoons, what was your favorite cartoon? My favorite cartoon growing up was Johnny Quest. Okay. Um, he was extra cool and I think Johnny Quest was getting a little long in the tooth when I started liking it. I never seen Johnny Quest, yeah. ever. Well that's why I, I think it was already along in the tooth yeah. by the time it, it reached my attention. And mine? Did you want to know what my favorite cartoon was? Uh, yes, I want to know, though I already know who it, what it was, <laughs> but go ahead. My favorite cartoon was Scooby-Doo, yeah. and I sometimes call all the dogs by their do names. Yes. Dooby-Doo, Mocha-Doo, and Nuala-Doo. <laughs> and I just sit there and wait for it to end. <laughs> oh.